everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm actually showing you guys how to create this press dewy, very minimal kind of product. It's literally like one thin layer of product on my skin and the only powder products that I actually use was only powder blush. Everything else is just normal kind of like foundation, cream bronzer. I use a really cool little eyebrow gel. Um, a, I don't have any lip liner or lipstick on, it's just a nice lip balm. So if you guys want to see how I actually created this makeup look then just keep watching and I'm actually in a really good mood today as you can tell. I actually am in a really good mood today because it's actually like daylight, the sun is shining in, obviously you can see the reflection on my chest and I'm not even going to complain about like the dodgy lighting because I'm actually grateful that it's sunny outside and that I'm actually in a good mood during this lockdown. On the bright side, I'm sitting here now today being productive, feeling myself, feeling good, feeling the vibe, loving it. So. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in two. Okay, so with this makeup look that I'm gonna do today, it's more natural and kind of fresh looking and it's something that I don't really do that much on my channel because my channel is more like full glam orientated. But as I'm getting older, I'm just liking the more kind of fresh vibes in the skin and actually taking a little bit more care into like my skincare, you know what I mean? As I am getting older, cause I'm just like, Ooh. So one big thing I would say, like if you are a more like full coverage type of girl or boy that likes more kind of like heavier makeup and like full glam and always needs to have like a full coverage base like myself, I thought I was that kind of type of person because I still love a full coverage base no matter what. But I always used to like see people with this wee natural kind of makeup look and be like, why can't I wear that? Like every time I go to do a makeup look on myself, always ends up too heavy or just too light where I'm just like, I'm not feeling this, you know what I mean? So I found out that whenever you're doing a more natural kind of basic makeup look, definitely take take more pride in the skincare aspect of it as well because if I'm doing like a full coverage makeup look the foundation is just covering like every inch of my skin so you don't even know if I have good or bad skin under the big thick foundation you know what I mean whereas whenever I do like a more skin focused natural look I find that your skincare products are just as important as the makeup products themselves does that make any sense <laughs> but if you're wondering I would have more normal to dry skin today I actually use the Bior charcoal facial wash and it's actually aimed to more normal to oily skin people but to be honest with you it just takes you to really try products for yourself and to see like if they work for you because like I would read that and be like nah that's not for me but I bought it one day just not knowing if it would be good or bad or not just going in with an open mind and then the next minute I've literally been repurchasing it for years and years and years and years I've literally been using it since I was like 14. I just love how it makes my skin feel so like fresh and minty and it's just like stingy and tingly well not stingy but like a good fresh feeling it's so good and it makes my skin feel really clean as well. I use that to kind of wash my face down and then whenever I've washed my face obviously these are the products that I'm going to talk about today. So the series that I'm going to use on my skin today is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum and it says collagen boosted with true C complex and I've literally this is like my second one of these I'm literally obsessed with it it just feels so refreshing it's quite liquidy it's like orange and then I literally just put it all over and it just what it feels like it just feels like you've given your skin like just a big massive drink of water like it's just so hydrating and it just feels so cooling and fresh on the skin as well like and then the moisturizer that I use is also from Ole Henriksen. By the way, this is not sponsored. And it's the Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream. And they actually have this kind of same moisturizer in a gel form. So if you're more kind of normal to oily skin, I would suggest maybe a gel rather than this kind of extra rich cream. I just kind of lack a little bit of moisture I find on my skin. So that's why I like to go for more rich and kind of creamier moisturizers. Again, it just takes you to really try them out for yourself because Ole Henriksen products are just amazing. And they just feel so luxurious. And even though they are kind of more in the drugstore end of things, Things, they just still feel really good quality and only skincare that I've actually kind of stuck with and that is a brand that I actually really like kind of most of their products with. There's a few things that I use and I'll definitely talk more about it in like a skincare video too. And then finally the last kind of step in my skincare routine at the moment is the Daily Revive and Concentrate from Kiehl's. This again is my second jar of this. I've been using this for years. I got this scent a while ago, like a few years ago and I've just repurchased it ever since. This is my second bottle because this bottle I think was the more, it was like £57 or something. It's quite expensive. Tiniest little amount and I literally just kind of press it in to my skin and again oils on oily skin you don't really want to smother your skin in oil if you have oily skin so just be particular whenever you are looking for products make sure they're definitely going to suit your skin so for foundation today i'm using the nars natural radiant longwear foundation i know it's a little bit more of a bougie brand but if you're into kind of more high-end brands or just want to treat yourself on something or just want a really good amazing foundation like this foundation is incredible and it's a foundation that i'll definitely repurchase after because i know it is good it has that really just, you just know by looking at it it's a more of like a expensive kind of luxury foundation the packaging's unreal I'm literally gonna do like two pumps and my pump kind of works a little bit dodgy so you can see how little product I actually have here so I just went in with a little bit of that foundation and just kind of 
placed it in the areas where I feel like I need the kind of most coverage personally in my opinion. And then I'm just going in with my sponge and using my sponge just to really press it down. So once I have that all blended in I'm going to go in with this NARS concealer and I'm sorry that it's like a little duo of NARS but this little combo here again if you're looking for something bougie treat yourself it's the NARS Vanilla Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So I'm taking a little bit of this concealer and just putting it in the insides of my nose and just right off underneath my eyes just where the darkest kind of areas are and I also like to take some on my actual eyelids as well. And then just going back in with my sponge again and using my sponge to really press this in and once you think it's kind of blended spend another like wee while just continuing to press it in because the longer you continue to press it in the more you're really working that product into the skin and making it look like as soft and natural as possible. Next what I'm going to do is go in and do a little bit of cream contour and so the main focus is to use more like cream based products because I feel they just look more like skin and you know this foundation that I use because I do have quite like a dark tan on my neck and stuff right now I kind of need to add a little bit of warmth to my skin um, and this here is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick and these are unreal they're so easy to blend they actually have a few lighter shades as well that you can use like underneath the eyes to really just like cream contour the hell out of your skin if you're doing like a more full coverage look but if you're wanting to just do what I'm doing this here one in the shade cappuccino is just unreal so good and again going in with my sponge to blend this in because this will be the most natural kind of way to blend in your products because I find that with a sponge it does kind of absorb a lot of products so because of that you're definitely kind of putting it on the most natural softest way and I'm just really making sure this is really pushed in to my hairline as well so you can't really see like a difference in shade I actually did tan my face last night as well so it'll make this part look not as okay well. so now for blusher this is a powder blush but it does have a lot of kind of like shimmers through it so it does kind of make it look more like wetter and kind of metallic on the skin and obviously because we haven't used any other powders yet on my skin this will be the only powder that we're going to use today so this blush here that I'm using is the Jordana Tatia Cosmetics blusher in the shade Prom Queen so nice it's like a nice bubblegum kind of pinky coraly peachy kind of color it's like pink but then because of like the golden shimmers through it it kind of makes it look a little bit more peachy coraly kind of but it's just so nice and I'm just taking a Morphe M528 brush and I'm literally just going to really push this in and just pull it up my cheeks. I've been kind of like in bringing my blusher up a little bit higher recently. You know, just like taking it right back. You know, years ago, everybody used to use like loads and loads of blush and just put it like in one big strip. Like it's all coming back, all coming back. And I'm just here for it this time. Whereas before I used to be like, no, that looks an absolute mess. Whereas now I'm just like, give me. So nice. And once you have it applied, again, I'm just going over it with my little sponge and just using one of our excess products on it to really push it into my skin. And you can see again it just gives that nice little glow like how nice is that and then now what i'm going to do is take my pink honey honey glue ultimate brow gel which i am just obsessed with you probably seen a few of my videos there recently i've actually been using this it was actually the raspberry one that i was using before so it was actually pink on the inside and that one's just not as like strong holding whereas this one the girls actually sent me this one over so thank you so much and this here is literally going like viral like it's a little pot of like eyebrow gel and it comes with a little spoolie too that you can spray with like your setting spray and then you just brush it through your eyebrows and it gives that real laminated like fluffy brow effect and this one here just smells unreal like it smells so good but I'll leave a link to where you can get it down below as well but it's always out of stock but if you are wanting like updates and you are wanting to get your hands on this I think it's like 8 99 or something she does like loads of updates on our Instagram stories where you can actually check in and see like when it's going to be in stock again and stuff I'm taking a little bit of the vitamin E hydrating mist from Super Drug which is also another one of my holy grail products I'm obsessed with this one too and I'm literally just going to spray my little spoolie here with some of that just to kind of moisten it moisten moisten it terrible 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 word then you pretty much just want to take your spoolie and just kind of like swirl it around the little pot to kind of make it more of like a paste kind of formula so it goes a little bit more like thicker and creamier and then with this what I'm going to do is literally just start combing it through my eyebrows just to really sculpt those hairs into position and again I've been loving my eyebrows it's super fluffy and weirded out looking recently like years ago everybody would have looked at these eyebrows and been like oh my god they look so weird and now it's just like a trend and a vibe and I'm just here for it again this time like I was here for everything nowadays like that blusher situation earlier too like you would never have caught me wearing blusher years ago and now I'm just obsessed with it. I still love bronzer I still love being like super glowy and warm and bronzy looking but blusher is just one of those things that I would never ever have thought I would have liked. Same thing about these eyebrows too. I remember even eyelashes years ago whenever I used to be like younger I used to put eyelashes on and be like no these don't look right on me and I used to take them off and be like so raging because like everybody else was wearing eyelashes and I was like why don't these suit me and all of a sudden it just they just look nice and I was like what 
<laughs> and then I just like to take my finger just to really press them down to really give them that laminated effect. So now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows slightly with the Morphe eyebrow pencil. Again, this step isn't really necessary because my eyebrows are quite thick now as it is. But there is a couple of little sparse areas like under here and like under here that I like to fill in. You can see the difference there from whenever I filled that in. It just looks a lot more fuller and stuff from like underneath the actual eyebrow compared to this one. So before I go in with some lashes and mascara, what I want to do is use a little bit of powder just on my eyelids. Because obviously with that concealer, it still feels a little bit kind of like wet on my eyelids so I don't want my mascara to kind of smudge onto that and go a little bit funny throughout the day so that's why I'm going to take a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Translucent Powder and I'm using this in fact it's not translucent it's in the shade 05 fur it's one of the lighter ones and um, just giving it a couple wee taps and then just putting it right on my eyelid just to make sure that's all modified so now what I'm going to do is take the Maybelline the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and I'm just going to do a little thin layer of this just before I go in with my false lashes so then for my lashes today I'm going to be using my lashes by Chloe Morton of course and these ones here are definitely more on the natural side so if you're not into my big fluffy kind of dramatic lashes these ones here are more natural these ones here in the style of Chloe they're so nice these ones are very popular too so I'm going to go ahead and just apply these and I'll be back in two wee seconds and I'll show you what they look like whenever I have them on my eyes and how much of a difference they actually make okay guys so this is what the Chloe lashes look like on so you can see for yourself what they actually look like they're super fluffy they're quite long but they're not as long as the other ones that I showed you guys before um and these ones are like sh they're like long in the outer corner but they go like long here too and then they're like super short in the inner corners too but you can still see the hairs like even though they're short they're not totally invisible you know so then the next thing that I'm going to do is do my lips and recently I've just been using the sugar advanced therapy um dream lip balm from fresh and I got this whenever I was in Sephora in New York last summer and this is so nice it's just like a tinted kind of lip balm but I just love that kind of shade of pink of it it's just it actually it's kind of all melted now in the heat because it's so warm but you just kind of need to be careful of where you apply because it does have like a tint to it you know the way sometimes with just like normal kind of like lip balm you just go crazy with this one you can actually see the tint but so nice and it's so like hydrating on the lips without being like too oily and this one here that I have is in the shade sheer pink lip treatment if that's the shade. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is actually personalized. I actually got sent this in PR a while ago. How cool is that? And I'm just gonna take this and spray it all over my face, and I just like to do this to add some extra glow into my skin, because you guys know me. Even though I did a more matte look the other day and said I was obsessed with it and whatever else, whenever it comes to more of like a natural look like this, I feel like it needs to kind of be dewy and glowy, or else it just looks like dirt, because you can kind of see like your own skin and everything coming through, and the glowiness just makes it look so like, much better. I, I, I do like the glow, you know what I mean? But I do like matte too. Even though I was going crazy for the matte, but like, you know what I mean? <sighs> Tetan spray is just like, holy god. So guys, this is pretty much the final look. I really hope you all enjoyed it and I will leave a link down below in the description box of like all the products and stuff that I use and whatever else. But if you guys want me to do more kind of like skincare videos, talking more about the skincare products that I've tried and tested and whatever else, let me know about that down below too because I don't really talk about skincare products much. And recently I've actually been loving skincare, like I've been saying it in this video over and over and over again. I love you all guys. And as well, if you're bored in lockdown and want to see more of my little face on your screens, then just um, hit the little bell emoji down below and and it'll mean you'll get like a notification or something then whenever I upload a video and sometimes even if you're subscribed to my channel on YouTube it's you still don't get notified because there's still times where people aren't saying that I actually upload videos even though they are a subscriber of mine so make sure that bell notification is turned on and it means then you will get a notification of when I actually do upload you know what I'm saying I've started to say you know what I'm saying now instead of you know what I mean but yeah guys I love you all and I will see you in my next video bye guys